To misquote Field of Dreams, the 1989 baseball drama starring Kevin Costner, If You Build It, They Will Come. Transport chiefs have been accused of hampering efforts to reduce congestion and cut climate emissions after a rise in traffic following the construction of the £1.35 billion Queen's Ferry Crossing. Camelie's cartoon, More Cars Using Queen's Ferry Crossing. Officials at Transport Scotland had claimed any new traffic growth across the Forth would be carried by public transport and not by new car journeys. But statistics show more than 1 million extra journeys, 27.3 million in total, had been made over the Queen's Ferry crossing in the 12 months to October 2019. This is a rise of 3.9% on the same period the previous year. Alison Irvin, Director of Transport Strategy and Analysis for Transport Scotland, admitted the rise in traffic was not the direction of travel that we would want to see. Scottish Greens Transport spokesman John Finney said the evidence made clear the new bridge, which was opened in 2017, has not resolved congestion issues into Edinburgh. He added, why would it? We've known since the 1960s that building more roads increases traffic. The growth in traffic is just not sustainable and it is clearly impacting on communities. The Scottish Government must listen to the experts. Bus lanes and road allocation isn't going to solve the issue on its own. In a climate emergency there needs to be regular, reliable and integrated public transport, so that it becomes the easiest option. That's why the Scottish Greens propose public ownership and phasing in free bus travel. Earlier, Mr Finney quizzed Ms Irvin at Holyrood's Rural Economy and Connectivity Committee. He said, this committee, and indeed the predecessor committee, have maintained a very keen interest in what's a significant project. Throughout that period, Transport Scotland have followed a consistent line and that line is, I quote here, any increase in demand to cross the Forth was to be met by public transport. Now t that's not happened and there's a million more car journeys, so what's going wrong with that headline approach that you were taking? Ms Irvin said the Queen's Ferry Crossing does not have any additional capacity in comparison with the Forth Bridge, as both have two lanes in each direction. She added, however, what we have is a more reliable and resilient crossing which has obviously helped improve the efficiency of that corridor. As you've set out, the project was a replacement for traffic as set out in the Fourth Crossing Act and we've always had that focus on promoting public transport across the corridor. This is in line with the ambitions set out in the new National Transport Strategy which obviously emphasizes the need to reduce the need to travel unsustainably in order for more on this story, visit the news article link.